What up everybody, welcome back. Happy belated Veterans Day to all the vets out there and happy early Thanksgiving. Today we're not talking about a bucket list item. Today we're talking about how to think like an entrepreneur. <laughs> So guys, I get to spend a lot of time around entrepreneurs, ones that have been successful, ones that are multimillionaires, and of course the ones that just haven't had their time yet. But one thing that sticks out for all of them is that they have a different way of thinking. It's, it's almost an unconventional way of thinking. If anyone is familiar with the metaphor thinking outside the box, it's exactly where I'm going with this. Entrepreneurs think outside the box, or in this case, thinking without the box. And this doesn't have to be an entrepreneur. This can be you in your everyday job, your nine to five. You can think from a new perspective. So let me rewind a little bit. I got to give you the dimensions of this box that we're thinking without or thinking outside of and there's a couple of things that I've found that entrepreneurs find ways around. So rules, I'm not saying illegally break things, but the rules that or guidelines that tell us that we can't do something. A good example is taxes and tax loopholes. There are guidelines around taxes, there are laws around taxes, but they're very legal ways to get around certain taxes. As we can already see with the 1%, routine, habit, in certain situations can be great, but it can also be unbelievably detrimental to what you are trying to get done. You ever heard of falling into a routine or stuck in a rut? That is routine, you are stuck in one spot. There is risk, the people that are going out and doing things that they wanna do, they are looking at risk and not avoiding risk altogether, but mitigating risk. So taking the least amount of risk for the best return. Let's call it a calculated risk. And lastly, the hardest is self-talk. This is the mindset. This is what you do when you look in the mirror and talk to yourself. So let me take those four and actually put it into a box for you. So let's say we have our box here. 99% of the people are gonna be living in the box. They can't take a new perspective, they don't think unconventionally, and the reason typically is one of the four things that I just told you. Rules being one of the easiest ones to break. There are literal loopholes, ways around things. Routine, this is being stuck in a rut. The risk, the risk is mitigation of risk versus being risk adverse. And lastly is self-talk, which is the hardest in my personal opinion. So that's the 2D version of the four things that hold you in your box. I'll reiterate what I've seen other entrepreneurs do, successful people that have done this, people that are nine to five that think unconventionally, think without the box altogether. They get rid of this. The first one and the easiest one to get around is the rules. And I'm not saying go and do something illegal. I'm saying very legally find a way around certain things that you think are holding you back. A great example of that, and this is not necessarily a rule, but just a way of thinking, a normal way of thinking, a conventional way of thinking, which kind of makes sense because it's actually a conventional loan, is real estate. Everyone thinks you have to put down 20 to 25% on a home. It's not true. Another way to think about it is taxes. Taxes have a very strict code and rule book. While I am not a CPA, there are still ways to get around particular taxes. Legally, while I haven't met Richard Branson, one of the books that he wrote, Screw It, Let's Do It, which I've actually got right here, talks about him getting around the rules legally. I don't know if you've ever seen anything that Richard Branson has done or some of the companies that he's created over at Virgin, but the man doesn't really think conventionally. So keeping in mind that you still have to remain legal, let's go ahead and knock off rules. The first piece to thinking without the box. The second piece we're gonna to touch on is actually gonna be routine. I'm really big on routine. I'm really big on waking up, having my cup of coffee, reading some of my book before I go into the office. I have changed my morning routine multiple times. I've changed a lot of my habits. Typically, it's a change in habit that just doesn't work. And that's exactly what I want this to mean. A lot of people will take that routine and say, wait, Josh, that doesn't make any sense. You need to have habits to be successful. Yes. I completely agree. You need to have habits set in place to make sure that it's pushing you towards your growth. What this is for, routine, is essentially when you get stuck in a rut. Habits that aren't working. Things that you're doing that aren't progressing you forward. You're doing the same thing, expecting a different result, which is actually the definition of insanity. An example of routine being broken in the everyday entrepreneurial life, somebody starting a business, something like that, would be something called a pivot. A really simple way of defining a pivot is essentially just a big shift in the strategy. You're trying to find the right customer, you're trying to find the right value proposition, and you're going full force this direction when you realize that the customer, the value prop is all back this way. It's like the business U-turn, but as you're going down this path, 
You are building a routine, you're building a habit, and then you have to consciously turn around. So explore your habits, your routine, and figure out which ones are just not moving you forward, which ones are not allowing you to think from a new perspective. So we can go ahead and mark this one off. Number three that we're talking about is gonna be risk. So I think what I wanna stress here is that there is a difference between avoiding risk altogether and risk mitigation. Those that I've talked to and have shared their insight on how they started their business, how they're hyper successful, how they're financially free, is taking calculated risks. Removing as much risk from this scenario as possible while maintaining the highest reward. Let's talk about something that you'd actually go and do and have a blast doing it. Skydiving. Yeah, there's risk to skydiving. Your parachute might not open, but there's a backup parachute. There's somebody on the back that knows what they're doing. And the percentages are pretty high that people actually make it through skydiving multiple times. The risk is that your parachute might not open, but the reward is multiple. You get to jump from a plane and you have the most euphoric feeling as you're falling to the earth. Not a business example, but it still gives you the idea of risk mitigation versus hiding in your room. So if you can take a look at a situation and unconventionally or look at it from a new perspective and remove as much risk from the situation as possible, maintaining that reward, we can mark this one off too. The last one we're talking about, I think, is one of the most challenging, self-talk. That's why I put it at the bottom of the box. This is the foundation. If you can wipe this one away, the whole box crumbles. A lot of successful entrepreneurs can go look in the mirror in the morning with their cup of coffee and say, you can get this done. Their mindset is different. There's the other side of the coin where you look in the mirror and say, oh, I just don't look that great. I need to lose weight. You suck. That's all stuff that's going on in somebody's mind. Negative self-talk can be so poisonous and vice versa for the positive self-talk. It can literally propel you to your next level. You're going to level up. So if you're consciously thinking positive self-talk, we can go ahead and mark this one off the bottom. By marking those all off, you have no box. There is nothing holding you back to conventional thinking. And while my board is not infinite, the unconventional thought, the new perspectives are infinite. This is something that you can go put to the test. Go meet with a successful entrepreneur that you want to talk to, or you want to learn from, or you want to get where they are right now. Go ask them what it's like to go think outside the box. This is my point of view, my opinion, on what I've gathered from the people that I have talked to, that they figure out a way to break routine that doesn't work for them, figure out a way around rules legally, figure out a way to mitigate risk, and lastly, just perfect their self-talk. All of those combined, removing them from their mind, allow them to look at something from a new perspective. That's all I got for you today. Explore your daily routines, the rules that are holding you down, the risk that you just aren't taking, and the self-talk in the morning. Please remember to think outside the box. I'm sorry, let me fix this. Think without the box. Thanks for watching everybody. If you liked the video, go ahead and press like. And please, if you want to come back for more content, subscribe, hit the bell next to it so you actually get the notification for the next video. And let me know what you think in the comments below. See you later.